well as flaky personal pies in under 10 minutes. Now you can, thanks to the all-new Express Ready, Set, Go. Imagine full course meals like pork tenderloin with sweet potato in eight minutes, grilled paninis in just five minutes, or a quick and easy beef burrito with Spanish rice in five minutes, all made with ingredients you select for your family. This is possible thanks to breakthrough design advances, giving you 25% more cooking area. In my two week effort of trying to fix my sleep schedule, insomnia wins once again. That was one thing that I hoped that I would get back after being forced to move out of the dorm, some good sleep. Seems like my dorm has become the on-campus bar and club where everyone comes and hangs out at night. But I just can't stop thinking about how unpredictable everything is right now. I really felt like I got my footing this year in terms of being social and all that, but story seems to change every second with normalcy becoming more blurred. I used to love coming back home, but there's only so much I can do within these four walls. It really hit hard for me today in particular. Today is Memorial Day, which happens to be one of my favorite holidays. I mean, Christmas and Thanksgiving are great, but this is the one holiday where I actually have a deep connection with. I look forward to Memorial Day every year. I go and pay my respects and go to Jack's place and, you know, grill some burgers and just chill out and just to have a good time. But now, I feel like I'm just stuck again. Everybody's trying to shame us. The legislators. The press. Oh my God. Everybody's trying to shame us. Look here, you're calling me disrespectful because I've interrupted people, but this gentleman has turned off people's lights in the middle of a global health pandemic. That's what that gentleman did. Oh, I Hi, everyone. I work for Costco, and I'm asking this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. So either wear the mask. And or... I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. You, you're I coming feel close to me. You're coming close Back to me. Back off! Yes. Back to your kids! Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Just another day in paradise. <laughs> what about you? Um, nothing much. There's not really much to do, right? True, true. Are you back home or are you still in Austin? I'm actually still in Austin. I gotta finish the lease on my apartment. Oh, damn. Yeah, everyone else moved out, so I'm just here chilling. You doing alright over there? Uh, I mean, I appreciate the alone time, you know? I can do shit freely without anyone bothering me. Damn, it would have been nice to see you at the Memorial Day celebration. Yeah, for sure, but uh, maybe we can cook burgers over Zoom or something. Uh, so, what have you been doing during all this? Well, I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> I've been catching up on movies and TV shows and all that. I've been starting to cook. 
or at least attempting to. And I've been keeping a journal through this. It's been helping me a lot, getting my thoughts out. Yeah, that sounds pretty similar to what I've been doing here. But even though the alone time is nice, I get how you felt during Thanksgiving. It gets pretty lonely here sometimes. Yeah, I feel. Uh, to be real with you, it's funny because back during Thanksgiving break, you know, the only thing I really wanted was to head back home and be with my friends and family again. Like, it was just so scary being back there at the time. But you know, with all this crap going on, it feels like I'm going in circles, like a, back in a dark place, like I really haven't really left, you know? Well, at least you're not completely alone. You've got your parents. Yeah, but... It's starting to drive me crazy, man. <laughs> I gotta go. Thanks for calling, though. For sure. I just wanted to check in. Uh, if you need someone to talk to, you you know how to reach me. Yeah, see ya. Alright, bye-bye. Long time no see. What do you want? You know, I was thinking about that Thanksgiving dinner we had together, and I just couldn't stop thinking about how much of a great time that we had. You are the last person that I want to see right now. Bullshit. You were alone and wanted company, and I showed up. Being the only one there for Every you- Every time you show up, you just highlight what's wrong with me. You're like a storm cloud following my every damn move. I hated it when you were around. I hated myself. You know what? I think you're just jealous. You can't stand that you aren't needed anymore. I found people. I found people. People who value who I am, people who provided a shoulder to cry on, people who remind me that it's okay to be myself. It's something you just can't handle. You just thrive off of my misery. Oh, well, if you're this new and improved person, then why the hell am I here? At the end of the day, you're still a loser. The moment you started to write yourself, the moment that you started to take control of your life, the whole world began to shatter. You're back to square one. You're here locked up, can't interact with anybody, can't go outside, can't do shit. <laughs> this is the new normal, man. It's time to start getting used to it. You talk all this mighty shit. But the fact is, you're not real. You only live in the dream world. You can't live for yourself. You just leech off of my misery. Person, you're a fucking parasite!
as we come on the air tonight, the coronavirus hitting all-time highs in parts of the U.S. More than two and a half million cases. Now more than 125,000 lives lost. Tonight, coronavirus cases skyrocketing to new records. Florida logging more than 18,000 new cases in the past 48 hours. More than 9,600 infections today alone, a new high. Thousands now showing up to get tested. Some people lining up just after midnight, waiting nearly nine hours. In Miami-Dade County, beaches closing for the upcoming 4th of July weekend as Florida bars are now banned from serving alcohol. All of a sudden, we can't even have a cocktail outside. I'm not even near anybody. This is really getting out of hand. Compliance officers now on hand to enforce restrictions. You guys can't pass out those menus. You can okay. have patrons order off of this menu. In New York, a travel advisory from high-risk...